Hello everyone. In this episode of my CapCut tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add transitions to a video. So here I have a project comprising of two tracks, where the main track contains three short video clips and an intro. As an exercise, I'm gonna add a transition effect to each of the meeting point of two successive clips, which is basically a change of scene in the video. But first, please take note that, unlike other video editors such as OpenShot, CapCut does not allow overlapping of two clips within the same track. For example, if I turn off the main track magnet and auto snapping, I will still not be able to make any of these clips overlap the clip next to them. Instead, CapCut will automatically try to put the overlapping clip on another track above it. Consequently, CapCut does not require any overlapping between the two successive video clips to which the transition to be added, but it does require that the two clips are continuous meaning that they cannot have any blank frame between them. All right, to make it clearer, let's just add a transition between the intro and the first scene. To do that, click Transitions on the Resource Panel menu, and then expand the Collapsible Transition Categories on the left, if it's still collapsed. Click the category you are interested in, for example, Blur, and then click the desired transition to download it to your local materials library. For this example, I will choose Woosh. And just a little note, any CapCut Online library item that has not been downloaded will show a download icon on its preview thumbnail, while the already locally available items will show a plus icon. Once the download is finished, you can simply click and drag the transition to the desired location on the timeline. If CapCut asks you to create duplicate frames because your clips are deemed too short for a transition, click OK. Another way of adding a transition is by first placing the playhead near the desired transition point, and then simply click the plus icon on the transition preview thumbnail. Now if you click the transition on the timeline, the transition property panel will appear on the right side of the video player. As you can see here, the name of this transition is Woosh, and it has a duration of 0.5 second. To adjust the transition duration, you can simply click and drag the value slider left or right. You can also type in the desired duration directly, or click the increase and decrease buttons right next to it. Or you might prefer simply dragging the edge of the transition on the timeline, like this. But please take note that, the maximum duration allowed of a transition, will depend on the length of the shorter clip, of the two clips to which the transition is added. For example, this transition can only have a maximum duration of 0.9 second, because the first and the second clips are only about 2 seconds each. But now if I add a transition to the transition point between the third and the fourth clips, this transition can have a maximum duration of 1.2 seconds, because both the third and the fourth clips are longer than the first and the second clips. But the real creative question is, how long is the best transition duration? The answer will depend on the clip's durations, and most importantly, the type of scenes in the two video clips. But as a general guideline, a transition duration of 1 to 2 seconds are commonly sufficient. Alright, should you not satisfy with the selected transition, you can replace it with your preferred one by following the exact same steps as we did just now. And now to add transitions to the rest of the video clips, we have two options. First, you can add a transition to each of the transition point one by one by following the same steps we did just now. Or if you prefer using the same transition throughout your video, you can simply click the one transition you have added to the timeline, and then on the transition property panel, click apply to all. CapCut will automatically add the same transition of the same duration, wherever possible, to all remaining transition points in your project, including those on other tracks. If you have added different transition types at some other locations on the timeline, they will all be replaced with this one. But for this exercise, I will use different transitions for the remaining clips. For the transition from the second to the third clips, I will use rotate clockwise too. And then for the transition from the third to the fourth clips, I will use gradient wipe and set its duration to 1.2 seconds. Okay, now let's see the resulting video. Alright, so that's how easy it is adding transition in CapCut.
I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.